to glue. Um, just like we glued up the end assembly, we want to be really, really organized here. Um, I've got my bottle of glue. I've got my mallet, just in case something gets a little fussy. I've got my glue brush. And I've got four bar clamps that we're going to use to hold the whole assembly together while the glue dries. I've laid my table out uh, in a manner where I can simply grab parts and place them in place while the glue is going. Remember, we've only got five, ten minutes uh, before the glue starts to set up, so we want to make sure we're doing this um, as efficiently as possible. So what I'm going to do, just like when I tested my entire table fit, I'm going to apply glue to four mortises, okay, a little bit of glue to each tenon, put these together, I'm going to bring my bottom shelf in, and then I'm going to cap the whole works off uh, with the other end. You may or may not need another person on this. I think for the first go around, you may want to have somebody helping you out. Um, we're going to see how this goes here. So, glue in the mortises first. Okay, it doesn't need a ton, again, just a little bit of glue. We're going to put glue on both mortises, and we're going to put glue on the tenons. So a little bit in each. And then we're going to use the brush to kind of spread that out so we have good contact all the way around. Making sure you get the bottom on both sides. And then we're going to repeat on the tenons. A little bit of glue on the tenon. Both sides. And seat those two together. Now, When it comes time for the bottom shelf, okay, we do not want to glue the bottom all the way along here. If we glue it all the way along here as this expands and contracts, it's going to make the entire frame uh, break apart. So all I'm going to do is put a tiny little bit of glue in maybe the middle inch or two inside of this groove and spread this out. That's just enough to kind of tack that in place and hold the middle and let the rest of the bottom move with the seasons. So put that in and now I'm going to apply glue to all four mortises in this end assembly. And spread that out. We want to avoid pooling now on this stuff because when we go to put this in, we're going to have this upside down and gravity is going to pull all this glue out. So we want to make sure we spread this out, otherwise glue is going to run everywhere on our project. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each tenon. Okay, I'll put it on the end and then spread it around to each face. I can already tell that the glue is starting to set by how stiff these are being held in that mortise already. Okay, we'll put a little bit of glue again in the very center our groove and now the tricky part is getting this all to fit without it all falling apart. So start at the tops and get those seated or at least 
engaged, and then move to your lower short or lower long rails. Get those in. Stand this up. The best way to do this is to squeeze the table ends together. If you try and just tilt it up, it's all going to fall apart. So I'm going to squeeze these ends together and stand the whole works up. Best thing. Okay, now we're going to apply the clamps. We're going to put four clamps, one clamp for each long rail, and they're going to run parallel to that long rail. I'm going to start at the bottom. And we want to apply just, just enough pressure so that the clamp will hold itself up. I haven't tightened anything really tight yet. Just trying to hold this all together. clamp these things, be, be aware that we want to clamp so that the business end of the clamp, the screw end of the clamp, they're all on the same side of your glue up. Okay, snug that up. Okay, and now what I can do is work my way around and apply just a little bit more pressure at each clamp. Again, the joinery is what's going to hold this together. It doesn't take a ton of clamping pressure here. Now, a couple of things I want to be aware of. Okay? My top has got to sit on here, so I need the top of all of my rails and the top of my legs to be in line with one another. Okay? This corner is good. This corner is a little high, so I'm going to tap down that long rail so that this is flush. If I come over here, this is too low, so I need to come up until we're flush, right about, oop, too far. Right there, check this one. And check that one's good. Okay, now I know the height of all these, this is all in plane with one another, so when I put my top on, it's gonna sit nice and flat. So at this point, we'll go a little bit more pressure all the way around, okay. and then the last check, just like when we did our end assembly, we're gonna check this for square. And the easiest way to do that is measure from corner to corner again. 28 and 5 sixteenths, and 28 and 5 sixteenths. So again, if the joinery is cut good, it wants to go together square. Again, if it wasn't square, okay, We'd have to try and squeeze the ends together to try and get those diagonals to match. So we'd have to unclamp and kind of shift everything around and reclamp. But this is very, this is good. I'm flush on the top, everything is square. Again, I've got a little bit of squeeze out I can see on some joints here. So I'm gonna give it 10, 15 minutes, let the glue skin over, and then it peels away uh, real easily with uh, a chisel. So we're on our way. Next step is to get this top made and attached to our table. So we'll see you in a little bit and we'll get the top going.